Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. And one thing I want you to be really careful, as you can see that the leading coefficient over here in this case is 45. Whenever the leading coefficient is other than one, we have to be real, real careful. And in our next step, I want you to multiply these two end numbers, create a rainbow like this one. You multiply 45 times negative 34. Just write it over here. 45 times negative 34. And if you multiply this one, that is going to give you negative 1530 and look at the middle number which is 249 positive i want you to just write it down positive 249 over here our next step is to now we are going to find the possible factors of 1530. Don't worry about this negative sign. What are the possible factors of 1530? And here I have listed all the possible factors of 1530. I just put it down. Now look at anyone that is feasible for us. And you can see that six times 255 is going to work for us. Why? Because if you subtract them, you're going to get positive 249. So I'm going to put down 6 right up here and 255 right up here. Let's fix the signs now. So this is going to become, this is going to be a positive 255 and this is going to be negative 6. So these are our possible factors. So negative 6 and positive 255. If you multiply them out, you're going to get negative 1530. And if you add them, you're going to get 249. And now one more thing you might be wondering, is there any other possible alternative way to to find the factors because this method is very hectic. Let me show you another method now, okay? I want you to just put down these numbers over here. Just look at this thing, 45 and 34. Don't worry about this negative sign. I want you to just put it right up here. 45 times this 34. Let's individually factor them out. 45 could be written as 3 times 15 and 34 could be written as 17 times 2. So far so good. Now I here you look at this thing. Just pair up these one. 15 times 17 and 3 times 2. And you know that 15 times 17 is 255 and 3 times 2 is 6. That means what we got is our factors turns out to be 6 times 255. This is another approach. And here is our next step. I want you to just focus on this part only, which is 45x. Don't worry about this exponent. Forget about it. Just 45x. I want you to just write down these two parentheses right up here. And I want you to write down 45x right here and 45x right up here. Now, the next step is I want you to look at these two factors that we figured out, which is what? Negative 6. I want you to write down negative 6 right up here and I want you to write down this positive 255 right here. Now let's focus on this uh, first parentheses. 
Do you see there's anything in common between these two? You can see that 3 is, is in common. So I want you to divide both sides by 3, both of them by 3. Look at in the second parentheses, what do you see in common? Both these numbers are divisible by 15 at the same time. Just go ahead and do so. So once you finish this one, simplifying, this turns out to be 45 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 15x minus 2 times over here. That's going to be 3x plus 17. And these are our factors. And now I have put down these factors right up here. As you can see, these factors just go right over, over here. Now, on this side, these factors and set it equal to 0. Since these two factors are equal to 0, you can separate them. You can split them up. I can write 15x minus 2 equal to 0. And on the other side, that's going to be 3x plus 17 equal to 0. Let's uh, isolate x. I want you to just simply add 2 on both sides. So that is reduces to 0. 15x turns out to be positive 2. Divide both sides by 15. So x turns out to be 2 over 15. And on this side, we want to isolate x as well. So I want you to subtract 17 from both sides. This reduces to 0. We got 3x equal to negative 17. You divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be negative 17 over 3. That is another solution. Thus, 2 over 15 and negative 17 over 3 is our solution set and that is our answer. And now here is your assignment. Can you solve this problem on your own exactly the same way I modeled it for you guys? You can take your time, no rush, you can pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. You can go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.